and good morning happy wednesday to y'all this is old man gib and we are back in x4 cradle of humanity season five episode five and it's kind of a, a big jump in what we've got today versus what i had before um you can see i'm on the bridge of a big honking ship and this is the monitor this is our cap ship oh let's see if we can there we go and yeah, it's an even better view kind of sorta of. can hold like eight mediums in its hull and um whole bunch of little ones it's got surface pads for eight little ones and i got a bunch of ships inside of it um and then we got our rattlesnake right over here rattlesnake. and the rattlesnake here is our cruiser And it's got a landing pad for one little one. And right now there is um, five Asp and five Chimera on the Rattlesnake. So there's 10 ships on that Rattlesnake of fighters. So um, been slowly building up, preparing. And then here we're back looking down on the decks of our monitor now something I found out this area right here you don't want to walk on it you fall through the ship uh, same down along that it ed these edges you fall through the ship it kind of sucks so there's a glitch with the monitor that is kind of foobard but we're gonna go down here Cause we're gonna pull up we got uh, a this little dude the Tarada or whatever um, he is a, a courier that's being used as a small freighter to supply this ship so like you could I can tell him Uh, yeah, see, he's already set up to trade for, for this ship. So if this ship runs low on supplies or whatnot, he's there to trade for them. So that's just like pretty awesome. Now, like I said, you try and go down there, you fall through. And I haven't been able to figure out how. And the same with this. Oh, let's, okay, let's be real careful here. Because you walk on that, you fall through the dead gum ship. And that really blows. Alright. Then in here, we've got... The Moria. Which I've been using to run around real quickly. It's a fast ship. Yeah. And then over here. Let's see if we can do this without falling down through there. That whatever it is up with that, it just does not like it. Yet the NPCs can run all over it. So you know they just don't like player characters and then here we've got our chimera this is my main ship a 
right on now in the hall or let's see let's go here you can see there's all of our asps all by our chimeras they're over on the um, rattlesnake but down here we've got our jaguar he's out exploring we've got a Krakatoi, there's a Yuan, so I got two of the um, Yaki ships, I got their frigate gunboat and their fighter, oh, we gotta go up here to the door, See that dude just running across there with no problem. I try that and I fall right through. So there's a glitch in there and it sucks. We are currently uh, reputation 21 with the uh, patriarchy. And we're sitting on a credit balance of 165 million denarii. All right, so now I don't think we're going to try this. Let's see if we fall through the world again. Fortunately, I've got to teleport, so when I fell through the ship, I just teleported back into the bridge, but still, that sucked. All right, dude. No, 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 no gate block in here. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we are gonna pull up. We got a dragon. We got the gun and the osprey. I'm gonna pull the osprey. Osprey has got to be my favorite one of these frigates. And of course, they're all in company colors. And big honking guns. All right, now I'm going to leave the Osprey up here because I'm actually probably going to use it. Um. We're going to put the Kuratoni, however you say that, back inside. Hey. We're going to put him back in the storage. Now, these dudes are all going to be on defense duty of the, our monitor here whenever we go up to get our take over our home system and I'm pretty sure I know where that's going to be all right now I want uh, John <laughs> this ship's pretty cool looking it's all guns now it does not have any bottom defenses it's all top but it's got, got six turrets and one main just kick you in the butt cannon which is pretty friggin awesome the only thing about it is you cannot put any small ships on it so now we'll put you back in and I'll bring our other dude up Alright, and 
and the last is a Dragon Raider. And the Dragon Raider is straight up split. And it's a pretty, pretty good little ship. This Joker, I actually just found out in the middle of friggin' nowhere. He'd been in a, but they'd been in a fight with the, uh, um, Xenon. And apparently they all, everybody on the ship bailed because it was sitting out there like half, half hull and there was nothing left of it, you know, so I, I rescued it and brought it home. All right. Thank you. Now, we're going to go back over here. And we are going to... This dude. Yeah, okay. You're the one that's the farthest back. Yeah, alright, you can stay there. Because I'm going to be using our Chimera. Now, also, that's what's right here, all stored right here at the wharf. I do not believe I have anything docked on the wharf itself. Well, there's six ships docked. Yeah, my just my monitor and the rattlesnake. And ships I've sold. So, um... Okay. Now, um... Over here at our station, we've got our uh, builder, our elephant, and then the, the station's trader here who's not been doing a whole bunch of anything, but he's there. So um, the station's actually been doing pretty decent. Um, Yes, he's, we've been selling the heck out of silicon wafers and energy cells. We're almost full on silicon. <coughs> and also, when these get up to a bunch and they're not bought, homeboy takes and, well, he done took off. Yeah, see, he took off, sold them out here to this uh, plasma factory. He's making us some dollars. I've got some miners. We got a great big huge miner right here. He's one we rescued. Got a couple more miners. Been all over opening the system up. Our sectors up. But I think up here, 11th hour, is where we're going to go and claim as our home base. Uh, the Argon have been trying to come up in there, but they're not doing real well. But I'm thinking that we're going to slip up in here with our Buffalo. Have it coming up this way. We got to... Yeah, see, they're, they're not even trying to build that Joker now. There's a little Cerberus, Cerberus up there, and that be it. So, what I'm probably going to do is fly up there, get a plot going, and then have the buff come up and start building it, and start doing it. You know, while this is down here making its money, uh, we'll start making our own home right up here in the 11th hour so now we do have a defense platform right over here that's doing really well our laser towers are all been taking quite a few hits but they're keeping the zine on at bay up there out of coming out of the matrix they're swooping down here and they're gonna, they're gonna take zen they keep flooding this joker heavy like there's another cotton picking uh k in there <clears throat> they really want that sector you know so um 
yeah see they got a another one in there defense platforms I don't know where they're building their ships from but they're getting a lot of unless they got a wharf or a shipyard hidden up in here somewhere um, where I haven't been which is possible I don't know where in the world they're kept building their ships at but so yeah that's where we're where we stand at I will get get back to y'all when we when I get up here and probably the first thing I'm going to do is get this side here is pretty secure but I'm going to come down here and build put a large block here and put defense platforms on either side of this you know maybe three one two three and that will pinch off the xenon or the the dastardly argon from coming up north into our home and then we can start working on putting us a shipyard and a wharf and other things up here there's not much else up in there that's just going to be our main base system you know so yeah that's the plans i hope you all are having an absolutely wonderful day it's finally raining here oh my goodness it's been like six months since we've had any rain and it just it's like almost 3 a.m here at around 2 30 i woke up here and just oh it was such a great sound i know people that live up in north pacific northwest and all that are getting storms and they're all tired of it but by gum when you don't get some, don't get rain. It is a blessing, straight up from the Lord. When you get it, it is absolutely awesome. So, hey y'all, uh, do me a favor, leave a like, throw a comment in the comment section down there if you would. If you like it, subscribe. You can also now find it. You know we have our Discord. There'll be a link in the in the bottom, and also I'm on Rumble now. Uh, in case. YouTube ever decides to start shutting down even more freedom of speech, you'll be able to find me on Rumble as Old Man Gib. And I hope to see you either on YouTube or Rumble, either way. And may the Lord bless y'all. We'll see you in the next one.